Yo, yo, what up, guys? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with a dope money glitch video for you guys to take advantage of. It is solo and it is mad easy. Uh, first off, I just want to apologize for not posting yesterday. I mean, I kind of took a little bit of a break, been a little busy doing other things, but uh, yeah, I'm back and I wanted to bring you guys a dope solo money glitch. So, this one uh, does require the facility and the Avenger, all right? And uh, all the founders, they will be linked down in the description. Shout out to all of them. Uh, I'm not going to go by name because there's just been so many people that have had something to do with this. So I'm just going to link everybody down in the description. You know, go check them out. Uh, so what we're going to be doing here is you need the facility. You want it to be full of uh, RHAs or Fagios to overwrite. And then you also need an Avenger. This Avenger needs the vehicle workshop, okay? And you also need a weaponized vehicle. I recommend the Oppressor. But if you got the Vigilante... The, uh, the Deluxo, the Stromberg, anything that can drive into the Avenger will work, okay? So, uh, and if you guys don't know, the other solo money glitch methods were all patched and stuff, so this one is working, this one is very new, and the other gift cards to friends methods were patched, so all those, we revamped all of those, okay? So, what I'm doing right here is, I'm actually going ahead and I'm making space right here for my Avenger. Now remember, when we're duping these cars, you want to be duping Benny's vehicles, alright? Benny's vehicles only, and you do need custom plates for this. That's very essential, you need custom plates. So, what we're doing right now is, I'm pushing the Avenger, I need that blue circle, and I also need that blue circle to be as close to the, you know, facility as possible, okay? So whatever facility you got, try to get it in this scenario, alright? Try to get that blue circle visible and make it as close, as close to the facility as possible okay so now i've gotten my oppressor out or any weaponized vehicle that can go into the avenger go ahead and go up to the facility dashboard and then come back okay that's xbox and playstation both work, it works for both so now go to the end of the facility where your avenger is make sure you have the right d-pad option and you can basically touch the lip of the facility so open up your interaction menu and go ahead and go to voice chat and what you want to do is really fast spam on voice chat when i say spam i don't mean just hold it i mean literally tap so use your thumb to just keep tapping as fast as you can right on the d-pad okay now keep tapping right on the d-pad as fast as you can and then when you think you've got a good rhythm and you think you can hit it then you're gonna hit bb or or circle circle on playstation okay now if you want to check if you've done it right open up your dashboard again and then close it now, if you're back outside, then you didn't hit it, okay? That's okay. Just open up your interaction menu just like this, and then you're going to try again, all right? You weren't fast enough. That's all that means, all right? So I just failed as well. So now, once again, you can go to spawn location or voice chat. Either one will work, okay? You just need to spam right as fast as you can, then circle, circle, or BB. If done correctly, when you go to check the dashboard and come back, you will still be on the facility full alert. Listen to when you're in the Avenger. You'll hear the mechanic and stuff. You'll hear music turn off. Then you want to accept this alert, so hit X on PlayStation or A on Xbox. Then you should get off the bike and the oppressor should disappear. Or if you were in, you know, one of your cars, they should disappear as well. Alright, so just like that. Exit the Avenger, go ahead and open up your interaction menu, and take the easy way out. Alright, so that is the new workaround basically to get this going. It's actually pretty easy, I'm not going to lie. It, it is easy. Um, sometimes you will fail, you know, that right on the D-pad thing, but it's a really quick fix, you know? You just got to open up your interaction menu and try it again. There's not any, any you know, crazy setup you got to do. It's all good. So, at this point, you're actually ready to uh, start glitching out a vehicle to put in there. So, like I said, we're going to be duping LG Retro Customs, which is a Benny's vehicle. Now... This Benny's vehicle is, you know, prob it, it, it's not probably, it is the best one to sell in the game, okay? This one, exactly the one that I have, uh, sells for, you know, almost a million dollars, which is what you want, okay? LG Retro Customs are the best to sell. Now, remember, this vehicle right here needs a custom plate. If it does not have a custom plate, you're going to make dirty dupes. See that? I got the Fart Crew plate on there. That is what you want, all right? You want a custom plate on the car. You don't want a generic, you know, number plate, you know, like like 75I25, you know, whatever. You don't want anything like that. That will make you a dirty dupe. So, once you've gotten your LG Retro Custom or Benny's vehicle that you want to dupe, you need to go find a place to wedge the driver's side door and the passenger side door. So, at this moment right now, this is the spot that I always go to. You want to sign in as a motorcycle club president, and then you want to go ahead and tap y or tap triangle and make sure you're teleporting in and out of the car now once you've done that open up your interaction menu hover over return vehicle to storage 
hit X and triangle at the same time or A and Y at the same time on Xbox. If done correctly, you, your interaction menu will close and you'll spawn in the car. Okay, just like that, guys. We've been doing this for a while. Uh, you know, these glitches, that we've been finding workarounds for these, you know, every single time now. So all you got to do is drive this vehicle, which is the actual dupe, into the facility. You'll get the full alert and then you can go ahead and replace over one of your vehicles in there. Okay, just like that. So, see, I got a bunch of Sanchez's in mind. I'm just going to go ahead and replace over one of these, and boom, we got a dupe, all right? We got a save dupe, and it's good to go. So, I'm actually going to show you the glitch one more time back to back. This is, you know, no cuts or anything like that, and I'm going to show you that you can do this pretty consistently. And the best part about having the Avenger method is that the Avenger never goes away. It's not like the MOC, when you bring the MOC out, like when you go inside of your facility and you have an Avenger, the MOC will disappear every time and you have to call it back. So check it out, my Avenger is still back there. I went ahead and called out my oppressor. I think it was actually out there already. So I got my oppressor, I'm gonna go up to the yellow circle, I'm gonna hit the dashboard button, you know, go to the dashboard and then come back. The facility full alert should disappear. Now go to the back of the facility where the Avenger is open up the interaction menu and we're gonna do the same thing just spam right okay so as you can see right here I'm gonna spam right on voice chat and just keep spamming 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 and then press circle circle or BB and then hopefully you hit right on the d-pad before that fuller came up I didn't though so check it out I dashboarded and I checked I'm still outside so I'm gonna go ahead and you know what it's okay if you failed open up your interaction menu and try again so I'm spamming right on the d-pad on voice chat I'm spamming as fast as I can and then I'm gonna hit circle circle or BB okay also all right you're gonna hit them at the same time you don't stop spamming at all all right so I checked there again and you know what I actually failed once again but, you know, that's okay. It's all right to fail sometimes, guys. Everybody fails. It's okay. Just keep trying, man. Check it out. This one, I do successfully hit it. You know what? I start spamming faster than I've ever spammed before. So spam and spam and spam and circle, circle. And then I know I hit it because I'm checking the dashboard. And check it out. That full alert is still there. I'm in the Avenger. I go ahead and accept the alert. Boom. The oppressor has disappeared. I got off. And I exited the Avenger. Now it's time to take the easy way out. Okay? Now the reason we take the easy way out is because if you don't do this and you try to drive your dupe or you know anything into the MO or into the you know facility, you're gonna be all glitched out. You'll end up under the map on like a white screen and stuff, and you don't want that. All right, that's definitely not what you want. So now we're gonna go ahead and call up our Benny's vehicle. Okay, make sure guys it is a Benny's vehicle. If you're duping anything other than a Benny's vehicle, like some people tell, told me, dupe a Deluxo. Go ahead and dupe a Deluxo and see what happens when you go to sell it. You're gonna get a message, an error message saying that you can't sell vehicles over fifty thousand dollars. Guys, we've been duping for a long time. Okay, we know what cars to dupe. Benny's vehicles are the ones to dupe. All right. So now. I'm just waiting here for that LG Retro Custom to spawn in. Once it spawns in, I'm going to go to that spot. But guys, if you don't have a spot like that where you can just wedge, you know, yourself like that, you can actually go like up to the railings, find a rock, find a wall, anything like that, and go get a streetcar and block off the other side, you know? So block off the passenger side door with, you know, a wall or a rock, and then get a streetcar and block off the driver's side door. You can do it that way too. But remember, you must have a Benny's vehicle with custom plates, all right? Has a custom plate on it, that's what you want. Go ahead and sign in as an MC and make sure that you can teleport in and out of the car. Now you know what to do, open up your interaction menu, hover over return vehicle to storage, A and Y at the same time, or X and triangle on PlayStation at the same time, all right? I've never failed that before, guys. It's mad easy. You guys should hit it no problem, okay? So once you've done that, the original car went back over to the garage you got it from and this is the duplicate that we can drive right into our facility boom two dupes done in a very short amount of time the only thing you got to worry about are like you know mechanic cooldowns that is pretty much it everything else is pretty easy now remember these vehicles you cannot drive out because they will brick on you so go ahead and call up some more sanchez's or fagios or re chates and just drive them into the facility all right just have them in another garage and just drive them into facility into the facility and swap them out and you can just keep doing this over and over and over again okay so that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Make that money. This is solo and it is working right now. Subscribe to the Roll Easy channel if you're brand new. Make sure to turn post notifications on and drop a fat like on this video for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 25,000 subscribers and we are getting there, man. Just keep pushing and just keep going. I'm going to keep making videos. 
And you guys are awesome. I appreciate everything you do for me. Thank you and have a good day. 